Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check in for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm going to bring in the Divine Structure deck for the question today. I'm also going to be doing a weekly reading a bit later on today as well to see what's coming up for the week ahead and it's a powerful one. You know we've got the new moon we've just had as well which has brought lots of power in, fresh starts and change. So I feel next week is going to be filled with power filled with light and love and opportunities and success but it's all about the way we see our journey that makes these things come to pass so operate today in gratitude and feel good so let's see what we need to know and if you would like a personal reading with me you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information so what do we need to be asking today what do we need to be focused on today two cards and one at the front so i'm going to take them so the first question is we've got virgo energy so virgo i'm going to be doing you an almost personal reading possibly on monday okay not today because today i'm doing the weekly reading but i am going to do you an extra reading with this card coming out so i always see it that way if they guide me to but Virgo energy is about what's happening between now and then. It's about making things right, grounding ourselves. And will they leave the karmic energy? And we've also got what is happening to the Divine Feminine during separation. So what I'm feeling with this is because the cards always interlink. It's very likely there could be some karmic endings between now and the Virgo energy. So if I go to my Divine Timing deck, which is here... And I go through and find the Virgo card and it will give you these dates because this is really what I'm feeling. So what the Divine Feminine is learning right now, what you're going through, what's happening to you during the separation is you are preparing for change. You are preparing for karmic endings. You're getting ready for the next cycle or the next chapter in your life. And this could well be coming in between now and Virgo energy. And that's really why they're guiding me to that. So even though this is saying, you know, the Virgo energy is about grounding yourself, connecting with yourself, trusting yourself, I feel there could be some very powerful karmic endings happening around this energy. So karmic endings between now and September, the 22nd of September, but between the 23rd of August and the 22nd of September, this could be well when, you know, they the leave the karmic energy. And during the separation, you're being guided to let go and surrender. That's really what you're being shown, even in this card, because she's got her arms up and she's given it to God. So what's happening to you during separation is you're being guided. You're being reminded of your own power to trust the love, to work on you, to be grateful, to give it to God, to trust in these karmic endings. And also to do things that you need to do for you. So you may also be the one with a karmic partner that you may need to leave or release. So the energy of divorce is coming through here and changes. So if the masculine is in a karmic marriage or if you're in a karmic marriage, divine feminine, you know it's time to leave that behind and make a fresh start. And the energy or the time for this to happen could well be around Virgo energy, the 23rd of August to the 22nd of September. If anyone is watching, wondering when a divorce is going to come through or be finalised, this could well happen be between these dates. You know, if you're wondering when you're going to get the, the finalisation of that. But really ground yourself and understand that you have the world in your hands. So I'm going to bring in for this reading today the ocean of emotion. So we're going to do an energy around what's happening to the divine feminine during separation. Let's connect with that first of all. So during separation, feminines, you were building something. You're building a future. So this is another reason why you're shown building work. And I've been speaking about this constantly. Because the house next door to us have been having building work done on it. Before this house was having building work done, the one next door to that was having building work done on. And before we even moved here, there was building work going on in the street where we lived before. So you're being shown in your own way and your outside reality that this is building. And you're knowing that you'd like to work together to have stability. So you are working together in other ways during separation. You're learning to connect with your twin through the 5D realm. You're learning to communicate through telepathy. You're learning to have faith in the power of the love. 
you're learning to connect with each other and feel each other and you're also learning how to release any worry it feels like I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders so if you're worried you're being guided to pray so during separation you learn how to give your worries concerns and fears to God in exchange for peace so during separation the family learns true meaning of surrender the true meaning of faith, the true meaning of patience, and how to feel at ease. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine message tarot. So what's happening to the feminine during separation? Jump straight out there. So the first energy is you realise how strong you are, that you are independent and self-assured. You realise in separation that you don't need your twin with you physically to feel the power of the love. You don't need them physically to validate you or bring happiness to you because happiness is always an inside job and all you need is validation from yourself, from your own guides and your angels. You're also realising that forgiveness is the key. I'm trying to forgive you. So during separation, you forgive them. You forgive yourself most importantly and you forgive them. You forgive the situation and you also prepare to speak your truth. So you understand who you are and why you've come and what needs to be done. And there may need to be a truth spoken about a karmic energy. So this may even be if you're the one that needs to make a decision in your own life to walk away from a karmic partner. You prepared you in separation to do just that. I am ready to speak my truth. You may even realise during separation that you have to open up to them and say, it's time for you to speak your truth. And this leads to the endings of the karmic energies. So will they leave the karmic energies? What do we need to know? And the karmic energy can be a karmic relationship that may need to end in divorce. It could be an addiction, a fear-based energy. It could be something to do with work or finances. It could be something that they are dependent on like alcohol or something else. But they are miserable in this karmic energy so of course they're going to leave because they don't want to be miserable and sad for the rest of their lives i'm just miserable and i'm really tired of pretending that i'm not so your masculine is going to leave the karmic energy because it's making them sad it's making them miserable and when they feel that way they get ill it doesn't serve that but it's also a time when the healing I know we can fix what is broken. So a lot of the times the masculines try and fix the karmic relationship to prove to themselves that when they do leave, they've got nothing to feel guilty about. So this usually happens if the masculines choose to go back. You know, if they leave and then go back and you're thinking, why? He's saying, I'm trying to fix it so that when I do leave properly, completely, I'm not going to regret it or wish I'd done something differently or feel guilty. So that's coming through too. But really what he's saying to you is, I know that we can fix what's been broken because we are both healing. So remember during the separation, you were healing. That's also what I'm feeling. But I'm seeing this as, you know, what will fix the karmic relationship is walking away from it and transformed I'm not the same person anymore so of course they're going to walk away from the karmic partner or the karmic situation because they're not the same person anymore they've transformed they're breaking free they're not the person they were at the beginning and they're still becoming the person they're meant to be so this is about breaking free changing things Okay, is he going to leave the karmic energy? Yes, because he's not that person anymore. He's not the same person who started that karmic relationship, who got involved in that marriage or started doing that work. He's changed and there's tooth pain coming through for decisions. I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. So he's focused on making a change. I want you, you know, you've got the binoculars there as a big symbol that he's watching you. He knows he wants you and he's saying, I won't stop until I have it. But I need strength to break these chains and your strength inspires me. Your strength inspires me to make changes, to do what I need to do. So this really is about the feminine understanding that there's healing taking place. The masculines want to do this the right way. And especially if you've got children or there's other things going on. So I am feeling a break in karmic endings and them having the strength to do this between now and September. 
But definitely divorces may be finalised around this time or there may be other things going on. So let's also get an energy for Virgo. What's the Virgo energy bringing into this? What do we need to know? We've got, wow, intuitive energy and independence. So the Virgo energy is actually bringing in intuition. You intuitively know what to do. Trust your inner knowing. So the reason why the Virgo energy has come into this reading today is to trust your intuition about the karmic energy. Trust your intuition about what you are learning through separation because divine families, you're learning to trust your inner knowing. You're learning to be free and independent and strong and your masculine is saying to you, I admire you. I admire your freedom to be who you truly are. So are they going to leave the karmic energy? Yes, because they want to be free. They want to be free to be who they truly are and you inspire them to be that way just by being you. And look how similar these cards are. Surrender, surrender. So feminine, surrender the journey and trust that during separation, karmic endings are taking place. They are receiving all the information they need from heaven and all the inspiration they need from you to make changes. So yes, they'll leave the karmic energy because it makes them sad. A few of them may try and fix it because that's how they feel better. You know, in other words, they think, well, I'm going to give it one more chance just to prove to myself it's never going to work because they know it won't work and they know they can't really fix what's already broken, but they know they can fix what's broken with you and that's bringing you back together at the right time. I'm also going to bring in the Karmic 101. So will they leave the Karmic energies? Let's bring in the Karmic 101 and see what's going on. So what's happening? Straight out the deck cards coming out here. So the energy coming out here is, I wish you would disappear. So a lot of the masculines wish that the karmic partner would just disappear. And, you know, I wish you'd just disappear. That's because they get pressured in the head. You know, when they get pressured in that way, they go within. That's why they block the divine feminine you. That's why they ghost you, because they can't handle the pressure. So when the pressure gets too much, he's thinking, I wish that karmic partner would just disappear. But they also know they have things to work out. So it isn't as easy as wishing them away. They have to sort it out. And they know they need to move on. They know they need to break free. They understand that they're not meant to be with that person. And they know that now. And they're distant from them because they can't talk. They're struggling to get it out. They need to. And he's saying to you, Divine Feminine, I'm distant from you because I can't talk to you about this. Because I don't want you to think that I'm not genuine about you or I don't love you. And he's looking at the karmic partner thinking, stop lying to yourself about us. So a lot of the karmic partners go into fear and they will pretend everything's okay or they may post nice pictures on social media and try and create an illusion. And feminines, you see through that illusion. So the masculines know that he's lying to himself if he's trying to make it work with them. He knows they are trying to make it work and that's a lie. And he's saying, I've had enough of this. I don't want to lie anymore. So let's bring in a masculine message to end this reading. Very powerful. Judgment. I'm releasing my fears about what other people think to finally put my own needs first and follow my heart. And they're giving me fear. So he is in a little bit of fear about ending the karmic situation because he's thinking, what will people think if I divorce this person? What will my children think? What will other people think? Family, friends, colleagues, neighbours? What will these people think? And he's saying, I'm releasing these fears about what other people think to finally at last put my own needs first because I'm so miserable so I can follow my heart and be happy with you. So the message is, trust the love. Remember, during the separation, there's a healing occurring and things are happening to move forward to bring in change between now and September. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.